Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode. Uh, it's like a new episode slash kind of coffee break type of thing that we got going on. Um, I have a guest today, Sam Boyer. He's a he's a he's a good friend. Not only is he my my guest for today, but we're we're gonna be um um today we're gonna talk about security, right? And what does security entail, and and how can we like apply security when it comes to churches many years has been happening but not maybe not as prevalent as as it is today yes um but that's what we want to talk about today so i um um i decided to to do an interview with sam so he can you know show what he does or tell us what he does and how important security is in the body of christ Right. Yes. So I just want to make sure I'm getting the the, yes. the right mm -hmm. uh, um, get, getting to the point of things. So when it comes to like security, like what what made you go into that field to just begin with? Like before you you got to the point where you're at right now with all the ideas and stuff. Like what made you get there? Um, I have a background in security. Um, work a few security companies in the past. I've always liked it. Um, like to keep other people safe, especially my family. Mm -hmm. um, when I started going to CCRN um, roughly about 11 years ago, um, started all these attacks against churches, and I was asked if I could do security for the church, uh, especially since I'm armed. And, and I prayed to God, and you know it, it, that's what He wanted me to do in church. And I've been doing it now for 11 years. 11 years. Yeah. Look at that. Security for the church. Yeah, he said CCRN. That is our, our church that we attend. If you don't know, it's in Hamden, Connecticut. We're in the state of uh, CT. Our church is located 43 Jones Road, um, Hamden, Connecticut. If you want to stop by and visit, you're, you're more than welcome to, to come by. Um, so you've been doing it right now for, for 11 years, mm -hmm. right? You said you were armed, so you have license and stuff yes. like that mm -hmm. um, um, uh, for weapons and, and whatnot. Um, so now, and and in terms of like, you know, when it comes to like security, people think that it maybe it's not a big deal in the church. Like, oh, what, it's another ministry now that maybe somebody wants to just, you know, make up or 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 just like they, they don't think that security as is is important. I, I don't know like how how many churches have have you visited that have no security at all and you've seen like vulnerabilities like how, how many like do you see many churches having security or is it the number like kind of like um low i say 10 years ago 11 years ago when i started doing security yeah not i mean maybe two three churches out of every 10. now we're talking about seven or eight churches out of every 10 now have security because of all the um, um, attacks against churches, right. um, the persecution against uh, um, the uh, the religion. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it's, it's been a big uh, difference between 10 years ago and, and today. Right. And the same thing as in the schools. I mean, yeah. you know, it, back in the days, who would think that somebody would want to go and yeah. And do anything to children. Well, same thing in church. You know, people, oh, nobody's going to do anything to church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at now. How many people are now have not been murdered in churches, yeah, massacred yeah. in churches? So that's true. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so, you know, that's, it's just, that's why I wanted to, like, that's why this was, I thought it was so important for us to, to connect and get together mm -hmm. because it's about just overall bringing an awareness to the church, to people, you know, breaking maybe a, a myth that people may have or or a, 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 a old way of thinking you know mm -hmm. like the church is 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 not going to save us right but it's a place where we congregate right? exactly it's a place where we learn it's a place where we fellowship and whatnot mm -hmm. right um and the church is filled with all types of people exactly. good people and evil people and you know according to to what you're saying from 10 years ago to now you know and, and so many incidents that have happened already you know, it only makes sense to to want to be more aware, you know what I mean? And, and be kind of wise 
as to how we're we're doing things in the church now from a, a security standpoint you know mm -hmm. you go to a home depot there's security there you know because they're just keeping an eye with people that that are mm -hmm. what like you know stealing stuff exactly, you know yep. but any anything can happen there in our mm -hmm. case you know where we're we're in a place that there's children you talked about the schools and stuff like mm -hmm. that but we we also conduct uh uh classes yes. in our church mm -hmm. that have kids from you know from small you know young yeah, young little kids old, to two, baby, two years old yeah. to teenagers and whatnot you know so um um it's it's important that 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 we that we you know focus on that so now that you're doing security and you've been slowly evolving like throughout your years of, mm -hmm. of security right and and being that we also just moved in into our, our new you know yeah, our new facility, church yep, thank yep. god we have a new place it's a lot bigger and stuff like what what are things that you look right for when you're trying to like create a plan for security or should, should churches have a plan for, for oh security, definitely yes right? definitely yeah all churches should have a, a, a contingency plan i mean what if what what if not Yep. Um, you have to have um, exit plans. You have evacuation plans. Right. Uh, I mean, all this should be written down. Should be passed on to the um, uh, every single one of your uh, security ministry, your pastors, associated pastors. Everybody should be on the same page because if something goes down, mm -hmm. it's just not only security <clears throat> that's going to actually prevent anything from happening. Mm -hmm. Security works with everybody else in the church. Mm. So everybody's got to have on the same page. Yes, security is going to be in the front, right? But everybody else has to know what, you know, uh, they're in the ministry. What are we doing, right? And what their role is. Mm. Um, and if there's no plan, if there's no structure of of saying, you know, if this happens, we're going to do this, and everybody's going to be like running around in circles, like, hey, you know, no. The best thing is to have a plan, mm. and execute that plan, practice that plan, and the more you practice. The day, hopefully, God, you know, never happens that something happens in your church. Um, you will be prepared, right? Compared to all the churches, where like, you know, well, we believe in God and God's gonna keep us safe. Okay. Uh, how many churches have said that, and how many churches have been now? You know, mm -hmm. people have gone in and, and murdered people, and um, and they're like, okay, yeah, now. Now they think differently. Right. So it's like we don't want to wait for that point, right? No, definitely no. Yeah, no. you, you, you never, nobody wants to ever wait for that point, and it's unfortunate for those moments that it has mm -hmm. happened. Exactly. But we should definitely be aware of it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and create a plan. So I think the, the, uh, the first thing you would, I guess, suggest is to, if, if, you, if you have a church, um, if you are in some type of security in in your church or or if you do the, i don't know because you used to do repo too before on the side right so you were yeah, still like yeah. in that type mm -hmm. of like realm yeah um so if you're in any, any type of realm in that in in, in of, of 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 holding firearms or in in like security field and and you attend the church it would be cool maybe to for that person to just like maybe take a lead if they don't have a security team in their church yeah, to maybe yeah. establish it right mm -hmm. Um, so if you are that type of person, you're watching that, you know, it, it'll be good for you to take a lead and do that and create first, you know, uh, um, a plan. Exactly. So I'm pretty sure, you know, you didn't just tell pastor, you know, oh yeah, yeah, we, I got a plan. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? We're, mm -hmm. we're going to watch over the church. Yeah. I'm no, pretty sure every everything had to be formal mm -hmm. and you developed the team and stuff like yeah. that. And there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff involved in, in having a, 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 not a security team. I don't call it a security team. We are a um, security ministry. Mm, amen. Um, you know, we we go by the Bible. Right. You know, yes, back in days, um, they had swords to defend. Mm -hmm. uh, we evolve as <clears throat> the time goes by. So now we carry firearms. So right. <clears throat> a lot of people don't see it um, relevant to be carrying firearms. But let's say, you know, don't know, you know, mm -hmm. what other people have been through yeah. and until it happens to you. Right. So then at that point, well, oh, yes, you know, then firearms, you know, just take a look around, look at the news, uh, see what's happening out there. You know, they're attacking churches with firearms, mm -hmm. you know, well, we have to be prepared. 
Yeah. You know, we have to have a contingency plan. We have to have a, a plan where we can detour, um, which is my main goal, is to detour somebody from coming to our church mm. and trying to commit any any kind of crime or any kind of danger to, or, you know, harm to any of uh, the memberships that come, you know. Yeah come to the church so 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 you i like that so your your main goal is is to kind of like defuse like an uh, issue before it actually comes into like i guess uh becomes a bigger thing if you go to a church and somebody's let's say you know example um you're gonna go to a church and you want to commit a crime you're not going to go to a church where you have visible security. Why? Because you're going to come encounter uh, resistance. Mm. You're, you're not going to meet your goal. Mm. You're going to go to somewhere where there's no security. These people actually stake out the places where they're going to, you know, go and make, do harm. Mm -hmm. And if they go somewhere and they find that there's security, they're going to be like, you know what? It's not worth it because I'm not going to fulfill my purpose. Right. So my goal is not to kill somebody, not to harm somebody. If it comes to that point, I'm prepared to do it. Um, I've asked God to help me in doing what I do. If I have to take somebody's life to save my congregation, I will do so. Mm. But it's not my goal. My goal is to detour people from coming to our church and trying to commit any kind of harm, any kind of crime. Mm. Um, that's what my my vision is, okay. you know, not, okay, yeah, we carry firearms, but if we never have to use them, thank you, Lord. Yes, amen. But if we do have to use them, we will be prepared Yeah. for the situation. Wow, that, yeah, that's so good. Because it's like, you, you never know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm glad you, you touched that part because I don't know how people view it or, or think about it, you know, they're like, it's iffy when it comes to this whole firearms, especially mm -hmm. now the way we're living and they're accusing, you know, they're trying to do way with the firearms and mm -hmm. all this stuff like that because they, it's causing so much issues and whatever. Yes. But in reality, it's, 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 it's the people, you know what I mean? It mm -hmm. always goes down to the people and with the motives and stuff like that. But um, I like that you touched on that that's not your goal. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not your goal. But because of the situations and the circumstances that we're living in now, Mm -hmm. We have to be prepared and we, yes. and we have to, to be aware, Definitely. right? So, like, you know, a guy comes in with a firearm and you're with a, a pencil or, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, mm -hmm. or, or a knife. Like, dude, it's like, it's, it's not going to work, you know? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, regarding that issue right there, um, if a person was to come and a church is prepared... And okay, maybe not. They might not have firearms, yeah. but if you have a security ministry yeah. and they train, they take the proper training. Mm. Even a person with a firearm against a security ministry that, that is actually trained. Um, I'm not saying it's gonna function 100%, mm -hmm. but you have more of a chances to disarming, or maybe avoiding a mass casualty mm. to the point where your security team can actually take this person down if they're properly trained. Mm, okay, that's good. So the obviously the, the, the training is gonna be- it's like, all, Yeah, it's all tactics, yeah. training, training, training. Which you went preparing. through Yes, I my team is uh, actually is prepared. We do take training. Uh, we have an upcoming event in September 17 and 18. Yep. Um, where, which is open to the public. Uh, teachers, security members for That's churches, good. pastors, associated pastors um, are welcome to this event, uh, which is uh, aligned with Christian churches. Uh, say Christian, but that's what we we are. But this is this is not for a nomination. This is for everybody. I mean, it doesn't matter what church you are. You can use this as in a daily. Mm. Um, environment. So it's I mean, a safety, it's like yes. almost like a yeah, safety class. Exactly, yes. Oh, it's, right. it's based more for churches. Yeah. But the way you you present yourself and, and, and you take this information, mm -hmm. you can use this. I mean, you go out to Walmart and with this training and this knowledge that you're going to get, yep. you can actually protect your family mm. from harm's way. Mm. So you can apply it for home. Yeah, home you can apply something. home, out, you know, it, it doesn't matter where you are. So when, and when is the event? September? Uh, the event will be September 17 and 18, which is Friday and Saturday. Uh, Friday is going to be from 8 to 4, 
and Saturday from 8 to 3. Oh, that's good. In the description of this video, I'll have all that information. So he's going to provide me with all the details. There's a link, I'm pretty sure, yes. with the flyer mm -hmm. and all that Yeah, to register and everything. It's yes. going to be in where we're doing. The, we already sealed the place where it's going to be in our church, right? Yes, yes. 43 yeah. Jones Road, uh, Hamden, Connecticut. Um, there will be a compliment, com, complimentary yeah. uh, breakfast. Yep. Um, there oh, will good. be uh, there will be lunch. Um, early birds, if you register early, you get a discount. Uh, if you have three or more uh, people, the fourth one is free. So you combine, say you take four people, well then you divide the cost. Okay. Of, you know, the three with the four, everybody pays, it's gonna be a lot less. So. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and there, there's a cost, there's obviously a cost. Yes, to there is a cost, It's 150 yes. or? Uh, it's, uh, let me look it up here yeah, really quick yeah. for you. Yep. That's good. So we'll have we'll have the information in the description of the of the video, as I said before, um, like that. You can get all the uh, uh, the details of it. And we got a flyer. Yeah, the cost the is one hundred and fifty nine per person for both days or ninety nine dollars either for one for either day that you want to attend. Well, so you don't have to do so you, you can just book for what that for one day, day yeah. you want. Say oh. you can have Friday off, you, you can do a Saturday and yeah. you go to Saturday for 90 for $99. Okay. If you can do both, which is, you know, which yeah. is be a lot better. Yeah. It's 159 for both. Yeah. The uh, good the good thing the good thing is that from what you have told me that you you've you've already trained with even with these people, right? That yes. are going to get yep. this where, mm -hmm. where was that at? Um that was in Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah. Um, it was, uh, I believe it was four or five day. It's a national, uh, protectors conference. Um, you have people from all over the world come to this conference. Um, all churches, you have, um, FBI, local police, EMS, church leaders, church security, teachers. Um, this is a huge event. Um, first time I went was, uh, last last year mm. uh well I, yeah this this just this past year um and i was expecting one thing and i came out of there i mean i, I it just blew my mind out there's yeah. so much training so much knowledge that I, I i had i mean literally you know yeah speaking i i, I would i had another brain so i can capture <laughs> everything and just remember everything it's just yeah. so much training i mean it, wow, it's so good. it is it, it's and and, it's and, and it was and it was like you know it was the the base was also founded you know on scripture and all that yes. stuff too right so that, yes. that that's what's good about it mm -hmm. you know so they get that's what hopefully they're going to do when they come over here mm -hmm. right so now yes. that, that's going to be good too so if you want more information and and you want to be equipped or you want to know it, like you know what's it like to to even I, i'll even go to the point whereas even before the event if you just want to stop by right the church 43 jones road hamden connecticut and you want to greet you know sam and just see you know like maybe get, get like a rundown you know what i mean like of of like mm -hmm. you know how your team is set up exactly, you know yes. before mm -hmm. they actually book this so that mm -hmm. they you know some people are like oh yeah is this legit or you know what i mean yeah um but it, it's legit trust me I've, I, I've known Sam for for a while and he's been like a huge blessing in my life in so many different aspects of it but I'm glad in what in what he's doing because like I never seen like for a church you know like this is my first time like being in a church and then seeing an active security team obviously I know security does exist and I know mega mm -hmm. churches have them and stuff like yes. that but that doesn't necessarily mean you need to be a mega church for you to have security. Exactly. As long as you got members, you should be aware, right? You, mm -hmm. you should definitely be careful. Yes. As long as you got a location, a facility mm -hmm. that you're congregating, you just got to take, you know, uh, 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 measures of, of safety. And being that we're dealing with kids and adults, mm -hmm. you know, um, and I and I thank you, bro. I really thank you for the for the job that you've been doing, the team that you have, and because like, you're you're seeing the things that we don't see like we're, yes, we're coming yes. to church mm -hmm. we want to praise god and it's like i could imagine right just a normal sunday us going to church like you know these people have like you know the unfortunately the the, the churches that have had some some situations mm -hmm. they were all waking up in the morning just to praise god and exactly. you don't go to church and somebody just decided to to move on the act of evil mm -hmm. 
enter into a church and 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 do whatever you know whatever they want to do mm -hmm. if they would have had somebody keeping an eye you know like that would that probably a, a, a lot of it could have been avoided you know yeah. so i thank you because i i know i'm i'm pretty sure there's incidents that has probably happened that we're not even aware of yeah, i'm that, pretty sure that's true right? i mean that that you know that is true i mean we as i said my training um, and a training that we'll keep on taking. Yeah. Um, we, my goal is to defuse the situation mm -hmm. outside the doors and not in inside the, where the congregation is, inside the altar. Um, if we can avoid from that happening, I mean, we've had several incidents and churches never find, even find out. Look at that. Because that's just that's just the way I, I, I you know I run things. It's just the way we want to do it. We yeah. want to keep everybody focus yeah. on praising the Lord and, and, and taking, you know, taking in the word from the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, the last thing they need to be is, uh, you know, looking over the shoulders, you know, right. somebody can come in through that door. Well, I heard on the news that there was a shooting uh, at, at a church nearby or whatever. No, you know, that's what we're there for. Right. I mean, you know, uh, we're going to keep you safe. You, you know, this, the churches are really vulnerable for a simple fact is that everybody's looking forward. There's only one person that's actually looking at the doors and that's going to be the pastor. Mm. And, you know, he's, by the time he actually reacts, it's, it's, you know, it's game over. Right, right. And I uh, tell a lot of people, you know, um, you can rely on the police, but remember the police won't get there until after the fact. Mm. Um, police will get there, you know, up to three minutes after the initial call of an active shooter or any kind of problem by the time they get there, it depends where they are. Mm -hmm. um, and three minutes is a long time. Uh, three minutes, it? it is a very long time. In a situation like this, yes. I mean, three minutes, a uh, well-armed person can take out an entire church. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's no uh, security in place, if there's no measure counters in place, uh, you know, to defend themselves or or what to do, um, yes, it can be really, really tragic. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so that's, that's the, the, this is so good that, that, that we're, you know, discussing the, this types of things, even though it's like, it's not something that, that, we want to talk about you know mm -hmm. all the time or people might have a bad taste or whatever about hearing it or it's like oh you know but but i think just being aware you know the um and and just like using the resources mm -hmm. that we have to to just you know create an, an, an awareness right it says my my people perish for the for the lack of understanding right exactly. yeah and and it's sometimes you know is it could be in these areas that that we don't really want to touch mm -hmm but i'm glad that that you're vocal about it mm -hmm. um and and the way you go about it is is in a is i i at least i from what i see it's you know you're going about it the the right way and mm -hmm. and your your heart and your mind is not because oh i want to have a weapon it's because it truly in your heart you're really like looking out for the people yes. right like i love people i love interacting with people right mm -hmm. i have that that i i like to 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 meet new people and all that stuff, you on the other hand, you you want to you like keep people safe. Exactly. And and um that's that's something that only God gives. You know, who I, I don't know many people that in their hearts, you know, they're like, oh, you know what, man, I, I have a, such a desire just to to keep people safe. <laughs> like that's my main. Like bro, you like literally the 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 first person that when I talk to you outside of camera. That you're like, no, you know, this is this is my thing, man. This is what I really, this is what I'm passionate about, you know. Uh, you're like literally the first person, you know. Um, and um, it's it's so interesting to see that that it has evolved into a ministry for for you, mm -hmm. and that God is using you to to prepare, to equip, and to bring an awareness yes. um, to to churches that it is important. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're we're um, we're doing this interview. And, and what you're bringing to the table is not just something for the for the churches, but it's also to just be well well rounded on, I guess. Yes. That to also we're we're living in crazy times. I don't care what anybody says. Like the times that we're living in, they're like it's only, and it's only gonna get worse. Yes. Yes. But but if we're aware, we can be safe. We can apply some some cool tips that you may have even for mm -hmm. home. Right, because yeah. mm -hmm. you know, because the attack could probably be before you get home. You know, exactly, you you, yeah. you never know. It could be at your home or mm -hmm. whatever, or and and you know, some from what I've seen in movies and all this mm -hmm. things. So some of it could be real, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, somebody could see you go to church and they're preparing something, and they maybe don't want to get you at church. Maybe they want to get you after you uh, when you come out of church and following you to your house or whatever the case yep. is. 
So being equipped and prepared with 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 what you know and what you plan on bringing um, on the 17 with the team, mm -hmm. I think is is, is going to be good. And actually, with that being said, I I went ahead and I bought this like it's like a survival kit. I looked it up on Amazon. Mm -hmm. I know you did like a like a, a, a teaching one time. Yeah, I did a church. Yeah, I did a presentation. Like a quick presentation. Ago. Yeah, right? yeah, about home, home defense, um, safety. Um, Things you should have, things you shouldn't have, um, how to evacuate your house, you know, uh, uh, where to go. It's, 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 it's planned out, you know. It's right. like something was to happen. Okay, uh, it's my family gonna be safe in the house. Right. Do I have what to defend myself in the house? Right. If my house is no longer safe, where should I go? Right. Um, you know, all this stuff you have to plan it ahead of time. Talk to people ahead of time, mm -hmm. um, and have everything planned out. Have a have a map you know, of, of different roles, how to get out of the city or how to get out where you think less people are going to see you getting out. Um, all this stuff. I mean, it's, it, it, times are coming where it, it's going to be really rough. I mean, um, the persecution against Christian is, uh, not as much here as in, in the U S there is it already mm -hmm. here. Um, a lot of people don't see international news, right? The persecution against Christian is is real. Right. I mean, this is real. Yeah. I mean, there's some countries where you can't have Bible. They catch you with the Bible. You know, they, you go to jail. There's other places where they kill you. I right. mean, um, even here in the U.S., there's there's states where you, you can't even have a Bible. You right. know. I, I mean, you know, it's 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 stuff is real. I mean, people just don't look at the news. I mean, not there's a lot of stuff that the news make up. But right. when it comes to Christian, I mean, I have uh, uh, statistics there. Um, and during the pandemic, there was 271 uh, violent cases against churches. And this is during the, the pandemic where churches were actually closed, let's say, for like literally six months. Uh, and there's still 271 yeah. within six months, roughly. So, there I mean. There still attempts. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, people got to wake up and, you know, like mm -hmm. I say, smell the coffee. This is, this is, this is not a joke. Yep. Um, we are being uh, 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 you know, persecuted. persecuted. Yes, yeah. we we do gotta wake up, right? And and the church is is definitely being persecuted. Um, but you know, I I just like I said, I went on and I just ordered after that the the little course. I just ordered mm -hmm. you know this this like this little safety bag here, and it got a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. that I opened it up and I didn't even like know <laughs> what what you told me that I could. We can build a house with, with one of these things. I'm just kidding, though. Mm -hmm. But you you told me that you know there like a pen was also had multi uh, like yeah multiple just, uses. Let's just yeah. like I'm not gonna go. We, I don't want to go over everything, but this mm -hmm. can be also be purchased on Amazon. And what what would what uh, something like this would actually be called? What like in your home? It'll be what like, uh, a, safety like a survival kit? kit. Oh, a survival yeah, kit. Survival kit. Yeah. So you can order this on Amazon. I'll put a description on that on Amazon too. But um, uh, I thought it would be a cool idea to just do a quick unboxing of it and and just have, you know, I guess you, you could touch base on just some mm -hmm. of the things that are yeah, important yeah, in definitely. here. Um, definitely. I mean, first of all, it's, it's a great case. Um, it, you can attach it many different ways. You can attach it to the backpack. Um, you can carry it hand. I mean, it's got a strap. I mean, it's a, it's a really good, it's, it's nice compact, which is which I, I like, you know, I don't yeah. like bulky stuff. It depends what you're trying to build. There's a lot of stuff to go over. I'm just gonna go over the main uh, parts of it, which attracts me. Um, the safety, first aid safety kit is really important, especially if you have children. Um, it's nice and compact. The more children you have, I suggest the you know the more you add on to it. Yeah. Um, it's great. It's a small pouch. I mean, it's got all the necessary stuff in there mm. uh, for minor wounds and stuff like that. I said, if you do carry a firearm, I suggest you get a, a, a blood stop kit. Um, okay. It's really great. I mean, it's, a, it's compact. You, you got just the basic basic stuff you need. I said, it depends. Your family is the size of the first aid kit you should bring. I said, the more you have, the better. But you got to remember, the more you carry, the, uh, the bigger, the heavier, the you know, bigger space you're going to need. The other thing that you have in here, uh, it's a paracord. Uh, this cord here, as thin as you see it, um, this this here can hold a minimum of 550 pounds. I wow. mean, this can, um, you can tie it, pull, 
anchor yourself, lower yourself. I mean, this is just has so many uses. Um, I like this one right here a lot too. It's a bracelet. Yeah. Um, you take the end off and it whole thing just literally opens up like a domino. Oh. Um, and it's great. I mean, you carry it on your wrist. I didn't even know um, that. <laughs> yeah, you carry it on your wrist. I mean, you come to a situation where you have to tie something down or... Um, uh, you can just grab it from there. Anything, yep. It's just, I mean, this is just really, really good stuff to have, uh, to have handy. I mean, this is an everyday thing. You, should, you just use this. Um, the other thing here that we have is the, uh, the tactical pen, which a lot of people don't know exactly what it is that you see this oh it's just a regular nice um built pen well yeah it works as a pen but it's actually a uh, self-defense device um you can actually um poke someone and puncture them um this is meant to inflict pain of uh, somebody who's grabbing you you pull this out of your pocket you stab them in you know in the chest in the stomach wherever you can stab them it's going to create some pain where they're gonna let you go and you can, you know, run for your freedom, right. or, you know, try to get away, go for help. Right. Um, also on this has a, um, on the other side has to uh, punch a glass, um, hit on the bottom corner of any glass and it will punch you as long as it's not bulletproof glass, you know, <laughs> shatterproof. Yeah. Um, this thing works it. Also, um, you can use it for inflicting pain. Yeah. You put this to somebody's skin and you turn it, Believe me, they will let you go because this will inflict a uh, flicks of pain. Wow. I mean, this is a really good, nice kit to have uh, for a starter. I said, you know, depends yeah. what what your budget is or, or yeah. you, you, your level of confidence. Um, you can just build off of something like that. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. got it on Amazon. Uh, um, Evelise, you know, she she after we did that little mm -hmm. course that you did and stuff like that, it was so good. So we just. We had these little things that we just bought them. We went to Amazon. Again, I'm gonna put this this stuff in the description of the the video on top of all the other things that, that we discussed today, the event that you're gonna be a part mm -hmm. of in September. Make sure you can sign up and, and go to that if you're a local church, ministry, or you're looking into, into security and safety. Um, the information is gonna be in the bottom of, of, the, uh, the e of this video. Um, I want to thank you, Sam, for, for joining me, um, on this coffee break, you know, slash, you know, next episode of, uh, for, for Be Great, Be Great. I like to discuss all types of things, not only technology and all that, mm -hmm. but just bring awareness when I have to. And I think like, the mo the, the, the times that we're living now, we, it was like, is I think it was important to, Definitely. to have this type of talk, mm -hmm. not only to bring an awareness of the event that you want to uh, bring awareness to. But just in general, how important it is and and how we should, you know, always look out for our safety, you know. No, no, nowadays, <laughs> um, you know, it, it's just not so, training is just not for churches. I mean, you yeah. can take this as a security ministry. Mm -hmm. um, I use this as a, on, on a daily basis. I yeah. mean, if I go to Walmart, I mean, you know, I, I'm, my training, my... Mm -hmm. Um, I'm always looking out, you know, you got to defend your family. I yeah. mean, you, you have to have some kind of knowledge how to defend them or how to, to get them to safety. Yep. Um, this event is is, is uh, geared towards that. I mean, churches, but it's something that you can actually yeah. use in your daily daily use, you know? Yeah, no, that's so good, you know, and it's it, there is a cost, obviously, because like everything, right? It's like, it just doesn't happen just to happen. Like, there, it, there's a lot, there's a lot of equipped people that are coming to give their knowledge they're traveling from different places so you know there's a charge to it for that reason but believe me you're going to be blessed by it um and you're going to learn a lot from it it's gonna it's gonna help you um but like i said before too if you want to come by before the event you want to greet you know sam or if you got questions for sam you can put it in the in the comments of the video um and you know i'll relay the messages and whatnot but if you want to come by the church and visit the church and, and, and see how, you know, he runs the, the team, um, you could you could stop by and do so. Obviously, I think you should you know, like prepare for that ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't just want to show up as he's actively working. Um, but his I'm pretty sure you're you're um, you're available. Yeah. Um, for mm -hmm. for people if they if they just need questions or if they want oh, to yeah, stop yeah. buying stuff. Yeah, so definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they can call me up and uh, yep. you know set up an appointment and yep. you know, um, I, I do assessments. You know, whatever yep. you need. You know, yep. anything security. You know, and, and I said we I learn every day. Every 
it's just a new new thing every day you know it's just yeah. as as times evolves i try to evolve and as, as new things come out you know it's, it's just it's just the way it is you yeah. just got to evolve with the situation as yeah. it goes so so good so thank you guys man thank you guys for watching if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you mm, upper cut that subscribe button hit the bell icon to stay notified on new videos that i will be dropping um, and then again, never settle with being good when you've been meant to be great. Thank you for joining and thank you for watching. Sam and I'm Jonathan. See you in the next video.